best possible path for automation, that will be exportable directly into Blue Prism Capture, allowing you to take that next step into almost fully automating the bot creation. So not only that, once we have this automation, and we're gonna zoom in even deeper into exactly how we designed it, but not only do we wanna have that, we also want to know what is happening with the process once we've actually automated it. So that's also something to Timeline can help you do. Again, going back to our example that we had before, we can quickly see that with Timeline, we can monitor certain types of events and where there might be bottlenecks inside of our process. In addition, you can also decide that you want to know when certain things are happening that are not meant to be happening. For example, there's a huge delay between the processor being assigned for this credit card onboarding, or there is a fraud check that hasn't happened yet that is meant to happen before we actually assign a credit card. Now, wouldn't it be great if your Blue Prism digital worker could be alerted to actually go and mitigate that problem? And that's exactly what we can do with Timeline. The integration between Timeline and Blue Prism to trigger a digital worker could not be any easier. Simply select all of the possibilities on which you want to be alerted, and you can configure inside of Timeline directly with the webhooks where you want to send this particular task to, this alert, and the information to go with it. This gives Timeline and Blue Prism all of the information that it needs to actually be able to say, well, dear company, this has actually happened inside of your process that we're, that we're monitoring right now. And now we're going to activate this digital worker to go solve the problem that we've identified and actually mitigate it. Now, this leads to the actual execution of the Blue Prism digital worker. So it's being triggered from within timeline to go to work. 